After a solid sleep, thanks to the fresh air and wonderful dinner the night before, I went to breakfast for coffee and waited to hear what the plan was for my first day of fishing. Just when I thought this fishing adventure couldn't get any better, it did. Lodge owner Steve and Craig Gillingham told me that if I wanted to, we could have a day trip to the famous Eagle River to cast for Atlantic salmon. Whoa, what a wonderful surprise and a tremendous way to start my trip. In speaking further with Steve, he told me the lodge was unique because at different times of the year, they could offer fly out day trips for either Atlantic salmon or an opportunity to catch Arctic char. At Igloo Lake, we have the best, I guess, the monster brookies that people uh, dream of, and uh, this is the place to get them. In addition to our monster brook trout, we have in season Atlantic salmon that we fish for from mid July to mid August. Also, we fish uh, far north for Arctic char uh, mid August to mid September. We piled our gear into the float plane and swiftly took off and enjoyed an incredible sightseeing tour from the air. My guide for the day, Craig Gillingham, had me set up my nine weight rod coupled to a large arbor reel with lots of backing. The salmon here can get quite large and they'll definitely run you well into your backing. Craig, so we've just arrived. We're at a special spot here on the Eagle River. Um, and this is one of the great options you offer, Atlantic salmon fishing, in addition to the great brook trout fishing. Can you tell me where am I gonna start? Um, I've got a bomber on. Yep. What do you think we should, where do you want me to cast and, and what do you want me to do for a presentation? So Colin, you wanna start a little up here, up towards the, uh, the brook here. Yep. You wanna fish all this water area right here. Um, this is the Eagle River right here. Yeah. Uh, use this salmon hole up right here in the uh, cooler, deeper water right here. Okay, perfect. Key is just methodically work it over. Exactly. Got nice overcast day, a little bit of rain, but that's actually perfect for salmon. Perfect fishing. salmon had, conditions. I've had yeah. some of my best days on a lousy, rainy, cool day like this, and there's no bugs. No bugs. Perfect. Okay. Let me get into it. I'll go right here. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Okay, just cast straight out column right here, let it drift in, uh -huh. 30 to 40 feet out. Okay, 30 to 40 feet, okay. After having no luck fishing from shore, we decided to hop in the boat and try to reach the rocks and runs farther out. Craig believed that the salmon would be stacked up in the deeper water. Okay, let's put it out there, Colin. You're in. Yep. Okay, just sit back now and we, uh, once the anchor grabs. So you just methodically, foot at a time, work your way down. Exactly. So you'll just come past the rocks, keep working your way down. So Craig, one of the things that a lot of people, certainly people of salmon fish know about, but uh, people in other parts of the United States and Canada, and they haven't heard of a riffling hitch. Right. Can you explain what a riffling hitch basically does for a fly? Yeah, well basically it's a, it's a half hitch you put on a fly, and it makes your dry fly come to the surface and present very nicely along the, uh, along the water. So it's basically a wet fly that we're tying a hitch into that makes it go perpendicular to the current, and then it wakes across on the surface. You got it. And it seems to agitate, it's like a dry fly. It agitates Only, the fish. Uh, I know some people that will wake bombers or dry flies for salmon, uh, especially in shallow water, it seems to work. So a few things I've learned about using a riffling hitch is you have to vary based on the current. You have to, sometimes I have to go all the way 90 degrees or perpendicular for myself to get the line to, to put some, uh, tension on it and get the fly to wake, pull it up. And other times I'll go down to 45 degrees or even less an angle if it's fast to get that wake. It's 
right in his kitchen. It's right there, waiting for him. But it's the one that's farther back there is the one that moved. I moved him twice. Yeah. All right, awesome. finally. Good job, Colin. Good stuff. It was riffling through some uh, kind of choppy water. Yeah. You get them on the reel here. Oh. Fish is coming right at me. This is why you got a large arbor reel. Okay, right in front of the boat. So what we're doing is Craig's gonna take me into the back bay here. Keep your rod up a little yeah. if you can. We're gonna get him into the net. You kind of want just gonna step out here? He's going for a run again. He's going back out in the what? Out there. Way. Try to keep him in here if you can. I am. I yeah. I'm trying, putting side pressure on him. It's a big fish. Oh, sweating. It's hot. A lot of work. Oh. Okay. So we're going to try to net him there now. We're going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. You can step forward a bit. I want to get him away from the rocks. Oh, yeah. Come on out of there. Okay, there we go. Come on in, come on in, come on in, baby. Come on in, baby. You get him in a little bit farther. Big man. Get the head up, head up, head up, head up. There we go. <laughs> Congratulations. A big male. That's a big male. Let's get the net here. Oh, this is 20 pound plus fish. Easy. Put it down. Just, oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. The big kipe he's starting to get. Still silvery, getting dark. Oh, well, it's ready to go. So just get a nice little look. Beautiful. Keep in the water here. And it's ready to go. Oh, my hands are still shaking. That was such a big salmon. Well over 20 pounds, a male on a little fly. And that's one of the benefits of coming here to Labrador and Igloo Lake specifically, because not only do you get the big brook trout, big pike, but you can also fly fish for big salmon. Thanks, Craig. Great job, Colin. That was awesome. What an incredible trip I'm having here to Labrador. Several fish rolled on my fly but none would take it. That's salmon fishing. Despite not having any more success, my first day in the water was truly epic. Any day spent casting to Labrador salmon or trout is definitely a blessing in my opinion.